Many forensic labs across the country are dealing with a serious backlog of cases waiting to be tested, but that's not the case at the lab at the Tulsa Police Department. News on 6's Amy Kaufman tells us how they are continuing to stay out of the game. Well, Brian, that number of backlog cases is down significantly compared to years past. But thanks to some new training, the Tulsa Police Department Forensic Lab is already looking at more ways to get that number closer to zero. There's really no room for error. We really can't afford to be wrong on our results. The Tulsa Police Department's Forensic Lab performs tests for hundreds of cases each year, and it's easy for things to get backed up. Those cases are waiting and waiting and so that's where we would love to get to where we can get that request and almost start working on it um, immediately. A backlogged case is classified as something that was requested more than 30 days ago and the forensic lab is working hard to catch up on those cases. I just looked and we had um, I believe almost 800 backlog cases at the end of 2016 and we have now less than 500. Tara Bryan says they would love to get closer to zero, so they're looking for ways to work smarter in the lab. Budgets are not really being increased. We're not getting a lot more money, so we have to figure out ways to increase efficiency and to do more with less. They recently started implementing a training called Lean Six Sigma, which will help improve performance by removing extra steps from the process while still maintaining accuracy. The wait times in between the different steps in the process can be uh, minimized or shortened to then decrease the overall turnaround time. Now, City Council was supposed to uh, talk about some funds for the forensic lab tonight, but instead they tabled that discussion. Those funds were slated to help pay for um, overtime hours to work on some of those backlogged cases, to add software to analyze new drugs, and to help with accreditation fees. Live on the scene, on the story in Tulsa, Amy Kaufman, News on 6.